95.5. The Morning Majlis, talking the stories that are shaping headlines. This is Pulse 95. This is Pulse 95, and yes, this is the Morning Majlis. And we are talking the world of healthcare. We're talking the world of dentistry. We're talking International Women's Day as well, because we have Dr. Mira Al Marzuki, who is the program director at the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Sharjah. Dr. Mira, a very good morning, and welcome on to the Majlis. We'll have to mic you on again. Hang on a minute. We'll get our technical sites sorted. Um, And then there we go. Hang on. We will get your microphone sorted in just a minute because we are lining up the questions for you this morning, Dr. Mira. Let's just check and see if this microphone is working for you. Uh, Good morning. There we go. Loud and clear. There we are. (laughs) Connected. This is it. Okay. Let's start talking about uh, the society itself. Dr. Mira, now you pursued your career in dentistry right here from University of Sharjah, but you still have your strong connections to Sharjah with this uh, society. Now, this society is known globally, the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and dentistry. So how important is this for Sharjah to continue to have this and what, 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 what is the main purpose for this? So the main purpose of our academy, which is the Academy of Develop, uh, American Developmental Medicine and Dentistry, uh, it's a non-profit uh, scientific organization mm. which represents the medical students at the University of Sharjah. Mm-hmm. So our association is the first association of its kind, not only in UAE, but it's actually the first in the Middle East. Wow. And yeah, and it's actually branched from the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and Dentistry that is based in uh, the United States that was established in 2002. And mm. it provides a forum for the healthcare professionals who provide clinical care to uh, people of determination, uh, more specifically, people with neurodevelopmental disorders mm. and disabilities. So we were talking about this off air, weren't we, Abdul Karim? Yes. You know, going to the dentist is, is generally a bit of a stressful time for anyone, whatever state of, mm. of mind or, or physical nature you're in. Generally, it's for a bit of an emergency. If you're in a lot of pain, you know, you, you generally head to the dentist. I know I've been avoiding my yearly uh, clean, which I should be going to, so this is a good reminder. But what exactly is is the care that these type of, of people need and the type of support that you provide for them? So basically in our academy, we are trying to empower them mm. as well as um, as well as well provide the best care, best, best health care that uh, they need. Um, so another aim that um, our uh, American, the, our academy is uh, providing is also empowering health care providers, not only the people of determination. In other words, we actually prepare clinicians to face the unique challenges in caring mm. the people of determination. Okay, so now when I look at the uh, the main page, uh, the main website of the AADMD, One Voice for Inclusive Health, and uh, when it comes to the student chapter over here, it says we're here to change. Uh, so let's start talking about this. We're here to stop the stigma, accepting people of determination for a brighter future. Now talk to me about uh, Sharjah in particular, and uh, uh, what have you seen the changes o- over the years since the society was established, where more doctors Doctors are prepared uh, to take uh, such patients on and from a patient's perspective if they've been willing to turn up to see a dentist or even uh, development medicine. So uh, in our university, um, we are more into inclusive uh, treatments, mm. inclusive education. Yeah. And now um, you can actually see uh, people of determination in our classes. You can see them uh, studying with you. And this is actually uh, amazing. And uh, one amazing thing uh, that we, uh, uh, the University of Sharjah Dental Hospital opened the first special needs uh, dental uh, clinic uh, at, the, at the hospital, as I said. So... We, we actually treat them and we actually observe how to uh, treat them in the best way okay. by specialists uh, uh, and also uh, mm. by uh, uh, trained uh, doctors. Now, something that we spoke about off air as well in terms of equality and, and equal, equal mm. treatment was uh, the growth of uh, inclusivity that dentistry has seen across the past uh, at least 20, 30, 40 years. Figures from around the 1960s in uh, the United States, for example, show that there were just 16% of females studying females. dentistry. You study dentistry here in, in Sharjah, dentistry. and you were telling us that there was around about 60% females. Yes. How, how does that make you feel?
feel as an Emirati female, seeing your colleagues and classmates, um, you know, in in the the grips of things and, and really making a, a change for the future? Uh, I'm actually very proud to be part of uh, this society, uh, being part as a, an Emirati student. Uh, in, here in UAE, they gave us all the rights to uh, all the rights from studying, from health, from uh, all aspects. Uh, it's actually um, how can I say? It's uh, it's amazing and. Um, even um, let's talk about, uh, for example, people of determination and the rights uh, regarding uh, females. Um, they opened uh, special centers for them. So um, they have full rights and full access to uh, health care as well and uh, to education. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're going to continue this conversation after a short break with Dr. Mira Al-Mazuki. Uh, do take uh, your questions, send them through on 4215 and we'll be back in just a moment here on The Morning Marshes. Join the conversation. With the Morning Majlis, Pulse 95. Yes, you can join the conversation with the Morning Majlis. Uh, we're talking International Women's Day. We're mi- mi- mixing it with a bit of dentistry, with a bit of uh, healthcare as well. And uh, we have Dr. Mira Aruzuki, who is the program director of the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Sharjah. Now, big question uh, for Dr. Mira will be here is pursuing the degree in dentistry and your profession in dentistry. Industry. What got you there and uh, how have you seen people's perceptions change about pursuing this as a career and even for people to turning up and seeing a dentist? Um, so basically I went into dentist- dentistry because it was always my dream. Mm. When I was a child it was my passion. Um, I think it's mostly because I had a very positive experience when I was a child with mm. my dentist. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know most of the people in population they actually hate going to the dentist because Mm -hmm. they think okay i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get a very painful injection a very painful um uh, treatment so the dentist must know how to manage the case and uh, treat the case in a in a very positive way where the child or the uh, patient ends up having a good time Mm -hmm. so i think that's that was the reason why i like dentistry because of the experiences i had and uh, regarding uh, my um, my experience in the university it was actually um very 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 um let's say challenging Mm. because um studying dentistry is i'm not gonna say it's very difficult but it's manageable and whoever is going to love it will um, will succeed in it. Um, you, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. It, you're going to compromise, um, for example, let's say your social mm. life. You're going to compromise your family because you have to do your best. You have to do your best to learn, to, uh, to uh, study hard in mm. order to become a, a better dentist. Mm. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And clearly there's mm. a lot of your classmates who have taken that on as well. I love the fact we were talking just before the break about mm. the gender breakdown, almost 60% of females. Um, just to sort of pick up on International Women's Day once mm. again as we are recognising it tomorrow, we were saying fair every day is actually Women's mm-hmm. Day. Yes, I- uh, and, and so how, how does it feel then um, as an Emirati dentist being able to do this type of work in the community and and we're going to get on to the conference uh, as well in a moment to have a look at the real impact that you're making here. But for Emiratis to be living, studying and working here, quite different, as you were saying, or fair to, to say a decade or a generation mm. ago where these opportunities may not have been there for you. Yeah. So before, let's say, um, more than 20 years ago, um, the society was different. It, was, um, it wasn't very... Um, helping females or women in general in uh, going and proceeding with their studies or even working. Nowadays, um, um, alhamdulillah, that uh, UAE is very um, uh, helpful and giving the women all the rights um, um, by studying, by uh, even in uh, education. So as you said, in our university, yes, we do have a lot of females. Um, Most of the students are actually females in the medical field specifically. Um, 60%, let's say, even the doctors, 
um, which is an amazing thing, you know. Mm. Absolutely. It's really great, amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, really yeah. great to see. Uh, demographically, more Emirati uh, students and female students in particular, they're pursuing this course of dentistry. So let's talk about dentistry, how it's uh, an attractive area and an area that really needed more Emirati women, especially you know, contributed by Sharjah as well. And what have you seen and uh, uh, where do you see this going? Um, yeah, I mean, the dentistry, more Emirati female dentists coming on Yeah, board. yeah, more Emirati female dentists are actually studying mm. um, dentistry and they're actually proceeding mm. with their studies. And what's amazing also that the country um, here in UAE, they're giving us the chance to even study further for, uh, let's say, specialization, uh, mm. studying abroad even, which is also something um, different than before. Mm. Wow, just yes. incredible. Well, yes. we're taking your questions on 4215 and we're going to be delving more into the conference we were speaking about mm. earlier. It's Empowering the People of Determination here in Sharjah. This is all uh, to do with the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Sharjah. Taking your questions for Dr. Mira as well on 4215. We've got your sport update on the way in just a minute and we'll be back here on the morning majlis 95 the morning majlis talking the stories that are shaping headlines this is is pulse 95 a very good morning and welcome on to the morning majlis now we're talking all things uh, happening right here in Sharjah because we have dr mira arozuki the program director at the american academy of uh, development medicine and dentistry from the university of Sharjah over here to talk to us about all things dentistry now on the 14th of march uh, the nation's capital will be welcoming and kick-starting this special Olympic Games uh, to celebrate uh, the the work the work and the uh, the achievements of the people of determination. But right here in Sharjah, we're empowering the people of determination with a conference, and that's taking place uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. So, yes. Exactly. So, Dr. Mira, give us the lowdown and what to expect and what is happening. Okay. So, I'm very excited to announce about this actually upcoming mm. conference that is going to take place in our university. So. <clears throat> Our association was found to recognize, accept, educate, and empower the people of determination and healthcare providers. Mm. Uh, so we had uh, um, a seminar that was held in September the 2nd, recognizing the people of determination, and it addressed the current problems and alternative solutions that faces people of determination. And in our association, we wanted to continue this uh, seminar um, by making um, this conference uh, under the title of Empowering the People of Determination International Conference. This conference is actually going to tackle three main topics that face the people of determination. So we're going to focus on healthcare, we're going to mm. focus on education and family dev- development. Basically, we are shedding the light on the most challenges that the people of determination are facing, and we're going to f- offer solutions for that. Mm-hmm. So international and national speakers, uh, senior educators, social workers, healthcare providers, and students will address those three fields in a series of uh, discussion panels, uh, breakout sessions, as well as oral presentations. Um, most of the international speakers, as uh, as you said, uh, they're going to take place in the Special Olympics, such as Professor Steve Perlman, Professor Matthew Holder, mm. and Professor Alan Wong, and many other prestigious uh, doctors and speakers who actually put a lot of efforts and they dedicated their time um, in this topic. Wow, it's something. incredibly inspiring, mm. this type of work. Prior to this, was this really a forgotten part of society? Has there been any any sort of work to focus on, on people of determination and their needs? Um, it actually... Um, we are focusing now more on to uh, the people of determination here in UAE and we're trying to offer whatever we can, um, um, uh, giving them the best care, giving them the best, um, uh, let's say, education that they need, um, mm-hmm. opening schools, opening health centers that they, they actually uh, need, yes. Mm. yes. So now let's talk about the uh, the events that you've done and uh, you went to the Athika Club very re- recently, you've been yes. to Khurfa Khan as part of your society. Yes. What have you seen has been the major challenges when it comes to patients of uh, people of determination and whether they've been willing to even go and see a dentist because uh, most of us are always been scared of going yeah, to a dentist I anyway. Uh, but for them, and uh, what are the challenges they've seen? So most of the challenges actually is 
how to manage. Management is very important, as I said. Um, it's it's difficult, but it can be um, it can be done. Um, but you have to take special tra- uh, special trainings as well as. Um, um, let's say um, attending conferences, attending seminars will help you a lot and getting experiences from different doctors and different specialists. And what, what's your experience been like going to the Thicker Club and even Khurfa Khan? It's actually an amazing experience um, because once uh, you deal with them, you feel like um, it enlightens you. It enlightens you when you see that you actually made a difference. And Um, because we go there and we do, for example, screening, uh, screening uh, programs or uh, events and we do follow ups. So they actually do remember your work. They actually remember everything, which is which is amazing. And this is where we have to focus. We have to keep going to the centers. We have to keep working on this and never stop. We shouldn't stop. We should keep uh, work, uh, keep uh, this uh, having routine checkups for them, routine treatments if they need any emergencies. We have to offer uh, all treatments yeah. uh, for them. It's been great to have you in the studio today to really shed some light on the incredible work that you and your colleagues there at uh, the American Academy of Developmental Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Sharjah. Dr. Mira, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. We thank hope you. to get an update later in the year about the incredible work yes. that you're doing. And good luck for the conference as Thank well. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say for whoever is interested uh, in uh, attending this conference or any conference, uh, um, upcoming conferences uh, like in the future, you can visit us, uh, our um, social media accounts, which is AADMDUOS. And um, registration is actually free in this conference. So whoever is interested can register and can attend. Fantastic opportunities. Yes. Great. Dr. Mary, we'll get an update for you in just a few months. Good luck with Thank that conference. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Stay with us here on The Morning Marshes. Your market update is on the way next. Pulse 95.